Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you some new feature in Filmora 12.5. Okay, so currently I'm testing the new version of the software and Watershed delivered this version to me. So I, I don't know if you can download this version from, from their website or check the update inside the program. Hopefully they will release this version soon. Okay, so this is my 12.5 version and, and it is a test version. And let's close this one. So there's some new feature. The first one is about the title. So they added some VFX title here. And you can see here, they added about 20 different title template, including paid and free title template. Okay, for example, we can use this one, Fire Epic Traveler. You want to use it, just drag and drop it down here on the timeline. Okay. That's nice, right? And now we can replace the text inside. Just double click at the title here. Okay, and then we can change the name here. For example, I can change it to my channel name. And press enter. And then I can say Fimora 12.5. Okay, and then I can click OK here. Go back and we still have the fire epic trailer okay so here's the trailer nice right i guess there's there should be something inside such as a video or a preset or stuff like that but actually there's nothing inside just the text okay we can check by right click at the title here and select advanced edit okay so this is the advanced edit window and you can see that we have only text layer here there's nothing under it okay so that's nice. Okay, so that is the first new feature in Filmora 12.5. And the second one, they added some visualization effect for your audio. Okay, to find them, you, you want to go to the effect tab right here and audio ribbon effect. There are 10 audio effects in this new version. And actually there are also some paid effect also. If you have a music file here and you want to create some kind of shaking for your video, you want to go to here at the audio ribbon effect, okay? And for example, I can use this one or this one. So this is audio ribbon zoom, okay? Just right and drop it here on the timeline and let's preview the effect. Add it to that if you want to control the effect, you want to double click at the effect on the timeline. And then you can adjust the min and max number here. This is the tolerance of the effect. For example, you can increase the min and also reduce the max number. And then you can click OK and preview the effect. All right, so let's back to the tutorial. Alright, so that is the second new feature in Filmora 12.5. And the last one, maybe the change in the program, is about the audio stretch tools. So normally it was here at this button, but now if we click here, we cannot see the audio stretch tools. So they just move it to here on top of the timeline. For example, if you have an audio here, yeah, let's shorten the project and go to the end. For example, I have a music file here. If I want to use the audio stretch tool to extend the duration of the music file. So all I need to do is to select the music file here and then I can click here at this audio stretch. And then I can just click at the edge of the music file and then I can stretch it out to extend the duration. Okay, and now you want to go back to your selection tool. You want to press V on your keyboard or you can just click this button and select this one, okay. And now you have a longer music file. All right, so these are all the new features in Filmora 12.5. If you are using Filmora 12.4, consider to upgrade to this latest version. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you're new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.